Welcome to Let's Talk Meshing Tutorial Tuesday, where we show you how to use a feature in just a couple of minutes. In this video, we're going to demonstrate a surface constrained extrusion. So here I have my geometry and on the back of the geometry, I have a set of connectors. And what I'd like to do is take these connectors and extrude them along the surface to create a structured set of domains on the surface of the geometry. So to do that, I'm going to select my connectors and go to create extrude normal. I'll then accept the default edge assembly. Go to the attributes tab to set up the attributes of the extrusion and start by specifying my initial spacing. So in this case, it'll be set to two with a growth rate of 1.0. I'm then going to come down to the smoothing parameters and increase the Kinsey Barth parameter to three. This is basically going to help prevent grid line crossing as I'm extruding along the surface of this geometry. The next thing I'm going to do is specify my shape constraint. So instead of free, I'm going to change this to database constrained and pick by clicking the begin button, I can pick the surfaces that I want to constrain the extrusion to. Now I've gone ahead and selected everything, but I'm going to deselect the back of the geometry. Go ahead and click end and set the domain shape. Now, now that it's set, when I perform the extrusion, it will remain constrained to that geometry. The next thing I need to do is specify the orientation of the extrusion. So to do that, I'll reorient my geometry and click set vector. And if I rotate this around, you can see that the arrows are in fact pointing in the correct direction. So that's the direction that the extrusion will progress. I'll then go to the run tab and run this for 130 steps. And you can see that extrusion running. I'll go ahead and click OK to accept that. And just so it's a little bit easier to see, I'll turn off the database and shade the surface mesh. And if I rotate it around, you can see the result of that operation. And that's how you perform a database constrained extrusion. If you like this video, please be sure to click the thumbs up button down below and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more videos like this. If you have any questions or comments, drop us a line down below or connect with us on Twitter, which is linked in the description. Thank you all and have a pleasant Tuesday.